Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be looking at this SAT geometry math problem. Now, this problem was actually on one of the tests. I uh, can't remember which one right now, but it looks like it might be kind of tricky. And if you don't know how to do it, it is. But with a very simple trick, you can see how to solve it, and it actually becomes a pretty easy problem. So, uh, just as a general note, Whenever you have a, a problem on the SAT where you have a shape inscribed inside of a circle, it's important to connect all points on the outside of the circle to the radius or to the uh, to the central point with the radius. So here, I'll try my best to draw a line, right? And now, what do we know? Well, we're given these angles, but we also know that these sides have to all be equal to each other because they're all radiuses of the circle and all radiuses of a circle are equal in length. Thus, we have these isosceles triangles. And what do we know about isosceles triangles? Well, we know that the angles opposite of equal sides are also equal. So if this angle measure is 20 degrees, then this angle measure also has to be 20 degrees, and by the same token, so does this one. So, for this whole angle, we have a total of 40 degrees. And now, when we look, we can try to find these angles at the top of our isosceles triangle. And while we know that these two angles add up to 40, right, because it's 20 and 20, and the total degrees of a triangle have to be 180. So to find our missing angle, we will simply do 180, the total, minus the two already given angle measures to get 140. And so we know that this angle is 140, and this angle is 140 for a total of 280 degrees. And now, just to figure out x, we have to close it off. Well, we know that these two angles and x form a circle. So they need to add up to 360 degrees. So now we simply solve for x by subtracting from both sides, and we get that x equals 80 degrees. Very simple, once you know how to start it. And that's it for today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful.